the anti-terrorism police have decided to play hide and seek with us. So what they've done, they lied to us that they are bringing into the airport uh, Mr. Ayudin, and uh, that in, with an intention to for removal. We have reached the airport. We are now at JKIO police station. We are uh, in JKIO airport, and uh, at the moment we have confirmed the immigration officer that told us nobody has been brought here. But a few minutes back, we have been informed that uh, they are back at uh, anti-terrorism police unit. And uh, a placard has been uh, made to show that Mr. Uh, Harun is a terrorism financier. Can you imagine how low our officers can go? They do not care about people's images. They do not care about the defamation. They do not care about other people's interests. They do not care about the businesses. They do not care about investments. They have an agenda. The agenda has been made for them, and we know why. But at this particular moment, we shall not relent. We are here with the embassy, Turkish embassy officials, who have also confirmed that uh, Mr. Harun Ayuddin is not here. And so we have decided that we shall go back and wait and see what next. But most probably, if they're taking him to court on Monday, they'll find us there. We shall be there. Uh, uh, Mr. Wakili, what is really going on? Uh, what are the reactions from the Turkish embassy, embassy and maybe the deputy ambassador? We, we, they are totally, here. totally exasperated. They are totally exhausted. They are totally annoyed. They are totally embarrassed. And uh, they, they are amazed at the lack of information, lack of uh, communication from the embassy, from the anti-terrorism police, from the inspector general, from the diplomatic uh, police, everyone. Nobody's talking to them. They have been sitting on the grass and in the pavement the whole day. This is totally embarrassing for us. Sometimes even for us to be able to explain and try to justify that our policemen are doing their duty is only foolish. But I understand that the, the Arun does not under, understand English. Yes, Could he does not understand English. Could there be a translator inside there? There was no translator. As, as far as we are concerned, there was no translator. If there was no translator, I do not know how they are going to be able to talk to him about anything. How are they going to be able to, to make him write statements? How are they going to be able to, to get uh, any information from him? One of the things they needed to do is to get, grant him uh, permission to get a translator. We had so many people from the embassy, officials. Usually when we want translators, we contact the embassies of those countries when we want a particular uh, translator. So you, you can see that this is skewed. This is totally, totally malicious. So you may suspect maybe the ATPU looked for their own uh, translator? The ATPU are not even looking for a translator. The ATPU are just sitting there and maybe showing sign language. Those are very useless fellows. Today, they are proved to be useless. I mean, they are not useful to us right now, so clearly they are useless. I don't know, because uh, I saw some of the officials from the embassy, they asked maybe the guys have not taken any food, I don't know, even water. We are not having any information, not even one word from inside there, so we do not know whether he has eaten, whether he's had water, whether he's taken his medication, because he is also on medication, so we are not aware of anything else. You see, this is also putting that gentleman's life at risk so up to up to now there is no communication maybe. not one word not one word and i mean exactly that not one word only policemen and gsu coming to threaten us coming to show us a show of force and somebody else from the deep state come coming to mr Mueu, he may try coming to there breathing hot air and telling us to move out of the premises it's nothing else Sorry, sorry, Kelly. So you may you will follow up tomorrow, maybe? We'll follow it up tomorrow, and if Monday we have to go to court, we shall go to court. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.